Hello, uh, once again, YouTube. Today I'm going to be working on a uh, free generator that I got from my neighbor that just moved out. He claims it wasn't starting. He thinks it might just be bad gas. Just real quick. Yeah, it smells like water. It's not gas. Oh, it's also out of gas. That actually might be it if that's it. I'll uh, fill it up and I'll do it for a start. I want to see if that's it. That's actually hilarious if he uh, couldn't get a shot because it was out of gas. <laughs> Alright, I'll uh, see you back in a second. Okay, so I got the only the finest year and a half old can of gas. Let me get my uh, tripod right here for my phone. Uh, ouch. Doesn't work too well. Um, so I'll get the light. Has to work. This doesn't fall in space. Come on, just stay there. Alright, that's good. Okay, so we pour up the gas. You know, I've got those crappy California style ones where you gotta spill half the gas on yourself before you fill up the can. Fill it up right there. See how the tank's fine. You know how to use this thing for the summer. Make sure it's not filling. Okay, that looks like the sun. Put whatever sun is back in there. I know you're good. on. Uh, this is going to be hilarious if it's just our gas. Let's see what we have there. I think that's our kill. A choke. No, that's our choke. That's our set to on. Oh, this one's leaking. Well, it's kind of hard to run it when your fuel hose isn't, uh, Exactly connected to the nipple on that. That's a problem. Shove that back on there. Here, let me set this down while I do that. Uh. Now, 20 minutes later. A few inches later. Get the gas. Handy dandy. Zip tie. <clears throat> Leave the end on there for good luck because it can cut them off without a set of flush cuts. It'll leave you in a pretty bad situation. Let me put all these bolts back on. They're all the same thing, so it doesn't matter where they go. The other thing is about the Chinese stuff that's okay to me. Every fastener is the same size. Whether it's holding the head on or if it's holding the reflector on, it's most likely at like 12 millimeter or something. Do some videos on like uh, side by side, and that'll be a really good example of that. Everything is like the exact same size. So you can just go through the whole thing with a uh, 10 millimeter. Have any bolts left? It's one thing. About <laughs> Grab us some sawdust to fix our mistake. Oh, I got on my hand. Um, let's find something to cap this. And there's some wood I might mill in a later video. There's a pencil sharpener I made. <laughs> <clears throat> Something. I'm going 
video guys is a genuine service pull. Oh, yeah. Actually the one's cooking. Spread it all around. Yeah, so not ready. Let's do it start. <clears throat> so we'll start first pull or tenth pull or whatever. Okay, church should be on, machine is on, fuel delivery on. One few seconds. It's still leaking gas. What is this? Here's what we can find. Ah. Yeah, the bowl opens well. That's great. So the bowl in the bottom of the carburetor is also wide open. Not even bolted to the uh, machines, just held on there with the pop of the shit. And we'll clean this off. <laughs> so instead of opening the drain, you had to unbolt it. So that means that there. Ah, the bolt I need. And the gasket is not in it as well. That's great. I don't know who needs a gasket though. Okay, I want to find the bolt. Make sure this is off. Don't kill anyone if it's off. Okay, let's check out and see if that works too. So I have to find a metal bolt. Well, I don't see it. Shit. That is no blame. Okay, now we have to find a metric bolt. Or just use zip ties and uh, flex seal. I'm not sure it collects again in the corner store. This might be my trick. I'm sorry. There's the communist bag. Jeez. Wrong oh, red. Ah, my people have to take stuff apart. We don't know how to put that together. You know what, I could steal a bolt off of the machine from over here. So I'm gonna do. Where's my tool? All right, this better be a thing, so it is. Like I said, Chinese stuff and everything is the same size on it. I was talking about when he says if you're gonna film and work, oh, that's not the same size at all. It takes about three times as much time. It takes about three times as long. And the job isn't done right.
Okay, so what am I gonna do? Oh, this fill bowl. Going, oh, I guess there is sort of a gasket on there. It's kind of dry rotted though. Is there anything else? Yeah, there has to be. See those sides right there? And you have to go like that. And he took it apart. Ah, man. Nothing I have is gonna be that. Uh, eventually. Six and a half hours later. Sorry, I'll come back and find it. Okay, I may have found my metric bolt right here. You know, not that gorilla tape. Rather be using flex steel, but you gotta live with what you got. See, this thing's full of metric. See if anything I can take off of this. Uh, and it's too small, I see. Mm, that might be a keeper right there. Oh, no, nah, it's too meaty of a thread. Oh, some people know what that is. Oh, project over here, I don't want to come yet. I don't want to video that, it's for something else. Put the video up on that. I think I had one up, but it's not my channel. It was on my other channel I made that was stupid. Yeah, oh my god, where? Alright, you're going with this. This is our metric. It's not what I want to use, but it's what we have to. Okay, so I am basically an engineering genius. I have duct tape on both sides of the hole right there. And I have zip tie wrapped around the whole carburetor. Hold on that thing. And uh, it should not be leaking anymore. Unless that idle screw is put out, or not the idle screw, that train screw, which looks to be in, in that hole right there. It should start right now, first try. All right, let's make sure it leaks first. Give it a couple seconds to move your fluids around. Dude, I think it's good. Okay. Rip. Alright, do the first start, cold start for the um, Chicago. I just turned it off. I just realized that it's a two-stroke. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>